The Ultimate Fighting Championship, also known as UFC, is what many people recognize as the highest level of mixed martial arts. News 10's Dawson D'Amico is in studio today to tell us how a local MMA fighter, Carly Judis, became the latest fighter in the UFC to represent Lafayette. Yes, that's right, Dalfred. Dustin Poirier, Daniel Cormier, Aaron Phillips, and even A.J. Fletcher are all notable names from Lafayette. When you think of the UFC, now you can add Carly Judis to that mix as she just recently became the first female fighter out of Lafayette to make it to the big leagues. I love to scrap. I love stuff. I love when stuff gets bloody. I love when stuff gets gritty and you have to dig deep. Like, I think I, so, in some of my fights, whenever my opponents hit me, I smile. Judice began her amateur fighting career in February 2021 after just a year of training. After four fights, she moved to pro in 2022. Three fights later, in all first round finishes, Judice got the opportunity for a short notice fight on Dana White's contender series for the chance at a UFC contract. Judy says she did not believe it when she got the call. I just, I was like, are you, is this a prank call? You, like, <laughs> what's going on? Her opponent was Ernesta Caracate from Lithuania. The three round bout was highly anticipated as both fighters were undefeated at the time. The fight was a barn burner as it was down to the judges' scorecards. Judy's did come up short though with a split decision loss, but still managed to impress Dana White and got the contract she hoped for. I didn't even have words. I kind of just started crying. You know, everybody else was jumping up, screaming. It's just kind of almost like I didn't believe it at first. I was like, what? You know? In Dana White's contender series, it does not matter if you win the fight, it matters if you impress. Judy's did enough to show what she was capable of but believes she could have done better. Kind of just showed like, okay, I didn't feel like I did good, but he saw, he saw that and he saw what I had in me. And so hopefully next time I could, you know, really bring what I have. Being the first female fighter out of Lafayette to make it to the UFC, Judice is glad to be a role model for others just like her. Oh, encouraging females, like letting them know that they can still do whatever they want, even if they don't have other females to train with, if they're not seeing, you know, a lot of females around here being successful, that as long as you put in the work, no matter who you have around you, you know, you're gonna, you can do whatever you want. And she put in that work and clearly she's being recognized. And of course, this is going to be an inspiration to other women who want to enter the fighting world. Well, absolutely. She even said she is very uh, grateful to be a catalyst yeah. for women's MMA, especially here in Lafayette. Yeah, I guess now everyone wants to know when is she going to make her debut? Well, basically, she said that UFC has not hit her up just yet, mm -hmm. but she does anticipate a fight in early 2024 and mm -hmm. says she's excited to show the world what she's capable of. All right, thank you, Dawson. Congrats, Carly. We'll be tuned in. Dawson D'Amico with News 10 Sports. We're back after this.